Good morning, Collegeville Community Church. Hope you are doing well. Today is a special day. I want to introduce uh, Sydney Hayes to you. She is a seventh grader over at Collegeville Academy Middle School, where I have the privilege of working as her chaplain over there. It's been a joy to know this young lady um, throughout her life, really. Her parents, both Rob and Kristen, have been close friends of ours for, for many years. And I remember the day your dad called me and said, we're expecting a child. <laughs> and it's been um, just a joy to see you grow up over these years. Um, this young lady loves the Lord. Um, it's a joy to see her around school because she is one of the most humble girls I've ever seen. And um, she's quite the athlete as well. I must say that and brag on you a little bit. She's an incredible runner, though she really has honestly told me she doesn't like running that much. She likes soccer and other sports, which she's excellent at. But um, race after race this year, she kept winning um, and just doing an incredible job. And when everyone was like, great job, Cindy. She was always so humble in how she accepted the praise and stuff. And what an incredible attribute that is. And um, I just want to say, as, as I've seen you around, too, you're an incredible leader in your class. And keep the same mentality, mindset that um, Christ has put in you as you continue through life to use your gifts, whatever God blesses you with, to use it for him because you are a great leader for Christ amongst your friends and family and um, classmates and so forth. We got a lot of stuff here for you. Here's your baptismal certificate. Um, it's really your, your spiritual birthday happening today, all right? So you got several things. Um, flower. And maybe your mom's going to want to take some of this stuff before you head up there. And here's two books from the church and one from our family as well that just want to give you some encouragement as you continue on in your journey. Um, something simply uh, that I want to read, she wrote, she, she doesn't like the spotlight really, so this was kind of a hard moment for her to come up here in front of everybody. But um, So I kind of keep teasing her a little bit that she's going to have to make a big speech here today. Um, but I told her, I'll, I'll actually read this. But this is a letter she wrote about, about today. As early as I can remember, I have been taught to love and honor God. However, this, is, this year I felt a call to get baptized. There have been so many changes in our world, and I know that Jesus is coming soon. It became important for me to stand up and make that commitment in front of others. I have loved studying with Pastor Tabor about the many ways God can talk to us. I have also built a closer relationship with the Trinity. I cannot wait to start this new chapter in my life as I continue to walk with God, and I am very excited to have my family and friends to be with me as I make this decision to get baptized. I want to invite family and friends who may be here now just to stand because I know it's nice to see them all here. You might not be able to pick them all out, but family, friends, maybe even teachers, any teachers that may be here or those who have been an important part of Sydney's journey along the way. This is a very special moment to see all these people here that are wanting to support you in this decision you are making. All right, I want to invite everybody to just bow your heads as we have a special prayer for Sydney now. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you so much for this day. It is just a, a very special moment to, to be a part of this, this moment. And, and we as friends and family are here to just encourage you and are excited, but I just always think at these moments when heaven just opens up, angels are peering down here and just celebrating because you have chosen to give your life to Jesus. And so, Lord, I just pray a special blessing on Sydney as she continues this journey of life. Um, may you guide her. Even when difficult times come, give her the strength to trust you. May she continue to use her, her gifts, her talents, all that you have blessed her with, that she may continue to lead for you. So, Lord, we thank you and praise you, and we ask all these things in your heavenly name. Amen. Sydney, because you love Jesus and want to follow him the rest of your life, it is a joy and honor to now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
I want to have one more word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you. And I just ask, Lord, that you continue to lead and guide each one of these individuals who have given their life to you through baptism today. And also, Lord, if there's anyone else who may be thinking that they would like to do this, may the baptism today be an encouragement to anyone out there who's thinking, I would like to do the same thing. So, Lord, guide each one of us. We thank you for this day in your heavenly name.